I'm Ignacio Berrido from Thompson Cancer Institute and the University of Michigan. And I appreciate the opportunity to share with you uh, the data from our poster. So what we are presenting here are the efficacy, uh, safety, as well as circulating human DNA data of a first in human study with RMC 6236. This is a multi raspon inhibitor, also named now as uh, Darason Rasmus. We are presenting a cohort of patients with metastatic pancreatic cancer, 170 patients. Here you can see the patient characteristics. I will highlight that this is a typical pancreatic cancer population. 50% of them presented with de novo and metastatic pancreatic cancer. Around 70% of them having metastatic disease to the liver and good performance status that was a requirement for uh, early phase uh, trial. Looking at the safety data, uh, you can see that uh, for patients treated with uh, 300 milligrams, that is the dose that is going to be further evaluated in a randomized phase 3 trial in the second line setting, around 30% of the patients have grade 3 treatment related adverse events. You can see that around 8% of the patients had uh, grade 3 RAS, around 4% of the patients had grade 3 diarrhea, and then around 4% of the patients had grade uh, three stomatitis. So most of the treatment related adverse events were grade one, two. You can see that up to 90% of the patients had uh, grade one, two RAS. Around 50% of the patients had grade one, two diarrhea. And then around 30% of the patients had uh, grade one, two stomatitis. It is important to note that none of the patients discontinue treatment because of those. It is true that we need to do some dose uh, modifications, some dose interruptions in around 30% of the patients, but none of these patients have to discontinue treatment due to toxicity. Moving now to the efficacy data, you can see this is data looking at progression-free survival for patients who receive treatment in the second line setting. We have a nice PFS of around close to nine months that compares very positively historical control with PFS around three months based on historical control. The other efficacy data that we can see is the overall survival data. We can see that for patients uh, treated in a range of those levels, 160 to 300, the median overall survival was around 14 months. And for patients treated at the uh, dose that is recommended for further development, the median overall survival hasn't been reached uh, yet. And then finally, in terms of efficacy, we can see the waterfall plots with overall response rate around 36% for the U12X and a little bit lower, around 27% for the uh, all RAS, including U12, but also U61 and U13B. And finally, the data concentrating tumor DNA, where you can see really nice uh, deep uh, inhibitions. You see around 40, 90% uh, of the patients have more than 50% reduction in circulating tumor DNA, and around 45% of the patients had a complete uh, eradication of the uh, molecular of the cDNA. So overall, this shows uh, molecule active, there's an ongoing active and well tolerated. We are we have implemented because of the high incidence of uh, RAS uh, preemptive treatment with uh, antibiotics with tetracycline. Similar to what we do in patients with colorectal cancer that are going to be treated with PGFR inhibitors. And based on this data, uh, a randomized phase 3 study is currently ongoing, evaluating uh, RNC6236 versus three kettles of chemotherapy, Nalidi 5 for Pirinox or Gemabrax in the second line. Study. Thank you for having me here. Drop your questions in the comments section below, and our channel secretariat will get back to you with Professor Garrido Laguna's feedback soon. Also, stay tuned for the latest updates on Professor Spira's Phase 1 study of RMC-9805, in CRAS G12D pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, by clicking the link in the description box below.